geek easy fellow geeks let's open a beverage of your choice because today unboxing we're in stock trades uh, you know I was sitting here watching a YouTube video the comic den uh, and I thought I heard of this That's one of the door. But, you know, security building. And so I was like, now nah, they you know, ring the bell outside. If, so I didn't do anything. But then I went out for a smoke and saw the postman had been here. So let me, and I guess the guy has access to the thing. So I went out and checked the door and package was in. So I know what this is. So let's. Oh, yeah, hey, grapes out of my arm, huh? Let's get this open and show you what I got. This is... I've been spending way too much money on stuff lately. But... Okay, stress reliever right there. So nice and well packed. Has the little doohickey on it. I notice they've stopped putting it on the cardboard. Not they used to. This is a little cost saving thing. Stuff that normally comes with it. We won't show that because it's got my address on it. Okay. So. Let's do this. First off. Skinner. Okay. It is published by Dark Horse. Uh, it's written by Mickey Nelson. Let's see, uh, Sinise Dider. Okay, anyway. It says, uh, there is nowhere to run once Skinner finds you. The terrifying tale of six internet celebrities who accompany a superstar survivalist on a one-week trip into the remote Canadian wilderness. After the plane crashes, the influencers and their guide are stalked by a mountain man of local legend, Skinner. When the celebrities mount a desperate counterattack, they discover that there is much more to the Skinner myth than any of them could have imagined. Will the celebrity survive or be permanently cancelled? I'm guessing permanently cancelled because it is a slasher thing. It is published by Dark Horse. $24.99. Nice hardback. So you get Thing. And then uh, top page on the front says this book is dedicated to Bob Wright. Okay. This title page right here. And then we pop Prince George Airport, BC, Canada. Pop right into the art, which has a pretty it's pretty nice and it looks like it might be a little gory. I like the art style in here. So there's that. I'll probably pop through that today at some point. Okay then the next one that I'm getting, uh, it 
took a second to get this thing shipped out because of this. And then I just noticed that it is, once mine was shipped, you can't get it anymore. So I think I've got it. You know, one of the, it's sold out. We have weird, spooky, supernatural stories. The Beyond. There's the front. Boom. Man, this is slip it out. So here is the inside. It's a little slip cover. So basically the same thing, but this is just a little smaller. Uh, and then here is back. This actually has a little bit more than what it has in the back here because this actually has the creative team on it. Okay. Pre-code classics. Oh, look at that. That's right. In, that's, that's beautiful. Uh, look out. He duped us into coming here and see what his wild experiment did to us. Okay, this is the Beyond cover for the Beyond number 26. Okay, this takes, this does, it's April 1954 to January 1955. Jan issues 26 through 30. So those are the issues that are on. in here and it looks like we have all the ads that go with it uh, I just love these old uh, <laughs> I just love these old uh, ads they have in there and just the wonderful art that goes along with it uh, you can, you can pretty much tell old, uh, old pre-code horror, just generally from the art and the way that it's, uh, colored and all that stuff. And some of these are a little bit wordy, but that's never really been, you know, unlike a lot of the ones today that are, you know, really wordy. These ones go by, uh, there's some just uh, prose stories too. These ones just kind of just go by quick and they aren't trying to shove stuff down your throat. Uh, wow, this, this is going to be awesome. I cannot wait for this. And this is volume six. I'm going to read that one second. My unboxing. Cannot wait to start reading these. In fact, I think I just might. After I get done here, I just might go back and start reading the Skinner. You know, it's starting to get chilly out. Of course, this summer has been chilly all the time. But you know, we're getting fall. The leaves. Leaves haven't changed, started changing yet, but they will soon. So it's kind of that time to start reading a lot of horror. Anyway, what do you think about what I got? Have you read any of them? Let's like, subscribe, most of all. Enjoy your horror comics.